Hello everyone. So now I'm going to share my uh, assignment related to rutile analysis. So I have to uh, do a rutile analysis for this store data. Okay. So uh, I have show you my data set. So this is the ta four tables I have in my data set. So this is the district. Uh, here is the data related to district. Uh, like uh, how many stores are there in the district and uh, in which district and which under which district managers the data is there okay. so this is the district id this is the district and this is the district managers name and their pictures are there in the data okay and this is the business unit ids okay next is uh, next table is about the items so uh, this is uh, the uh, item like uh, here is the uh, segment category buyer and family name are present okay so this is the buyer's name this is the category category in the category there are mm, so many levels like 90 basics 64 promo 15 years or one all, all special sizes so there are some categories okay and this is the item id then the next table is uh, related to store and there is so much data uh, there is a location id city name territory postal code open date and uh, district name name and uh, there are so many uh, columns are there like chain in the chain there are two levels so fashion direct and leading lead sales and uh, district managers are there district managers pictures are there district id open year and uh, store type okay so I have created some um, measures also. I will show you. So I have hided some the some columns that I don't want to show. Okay, I have did the relationship. Okay. So uh, this is my dashboard, and we can see uh, here in this uh, dashboard, I I shown the uh, all values of the stores. So there are ten new stores. I get. Uh, the card and then i have uh, uh, taken the field new stores and this uh, gives me a count of this uh, new store so there are 10 new stores okay and there are 104 total stores so these total stores i have uh, i have taken it from from here so there is one field in the stores data actually we are not able to see because of this so this is the uh, total stores okay you can see i have uh, created this by using this formula this total stores equals to count of uh, number uh, store number name so store number name is the field in our data if there is the um, this field to uh, store number name so the count of store number names uh, given us store total stores so there are 104 total stores okay so uh, this is the uh, column cluster uh, chart uh, it uh, shows just the selling area size by year and territory so there are some territories in the data so uh d e s g a k y m d n c o h p a s c p n b a and w b so there are some uh, territories and we can see the data like uh, in which year and uh, the uh, selling area size is what okay so we can move our cursor here and we can see the uh, territory k y having uh, twenty thousand selling area size okay and the year is 2005 then uh, we can see here uh, it mentioned 20,000 uh, 50,000 so the data labels are there we can analyze the data from here also as we are clicking on this so territory is NC selling so price is 20k and then in the 20 or uh, 2005 year so the more selling area size is in this year as per this chart, we can see in 2010 for OH, OHO, the territory in the USA. So, uh, here to uh, 20, 
uh, what you can say 20 lakh 5000 data so uh, area uh, selling area size is more in this particular uh, year 2010 for the um, ohio or territory okay then the less uh, so this 145k is more also in the pennsylvania so there are uh, in 2014 there is also the more uh, your selling area size okay and the less selling area is uh, here like we can see here in the de only 10 k is there somewhere data is also not there so here is also 10 k okay so we can see from the start so on which uh, territory how much uh, selling area size by each year okay then next this is about the uh, new stores and the store number by city and the store type so there are two store types same store and new store okay uh, the line this line showing us a uh, store numbers as per the cities okay so here are some cities are here we can see like uh, in cincinnati there are the store number is 77 okay and we can uh, analyze this on new store the store type is same store and the new stores are 10 okay in this uh, city so uh, we can see the 77 store numbers are there so this line is showing the uh, numbers the store numbers we can analyze that data as per the as per this uh, uh, city names okay so here we can see only uh, new stores are there the 10 new stores okay no same stores are there so all the new stores are here in the in this uh, what is this the more the monroe e valley okay so next start showing us the count of district name by the store type so the store there are two store types same store and new store this uh, dark purple showing the new stores and this is the same store so uh, from the 100 percent data the 10 percent districts are having the new store new stores and this this rather than this 90 percent of this uh, data having having the uh, nine, uh, 90 percent of the store okay so uh, we can see by filter here i have taken the filters for the district name so we can do the analysis as per the particular district for fda district one we can see the data is changed there are total seven stores and, um, then there are 10 uh, new stores and then we can analyze the as per this uh, district name and city name so in this uh, district uh, we, uh, we can see the uh, these uh, cities also okay for that particular district and uh, here uh, i have put it the filter for this chain so there are two chains of uh, fashion direct and leading lead says so we can see here data by this also this two type of chains okay for the lead says we can see this selling area size by year and territory for fashion direct we can see this also second report is showing the district monthly sales okay so as per this report we can see here is the manager's images i have taken as a slicer if we uh, and these are the slicers for the manager's name so if i select this manager so this um she is a uh, tina lasila and under this manager we can see the data district manager as per the district okay so here is the districts and um, i have uh, i have did the filter on this particular manager and we can see this data uh, so this is the chart new stores and selling area size by month and store type so in the january month here is the two uh, new stores and two same stores are there okay so under this manager here in january two uh, new stores are there and two same stores are there but uh, all in uh, january february april september and november uh, uh, in november okay so january february uh, april and november there is the same data under this manager like two uh, same stores are there and two new stores are there but in june and september there is only one one same store and one new stores are there, okay 
so we can see this uh, district for that particular manager new stores by district name so how many new stores are there under which district okay so next is a uh, any so we can see data for this particular manager uh, uh, as we are clicking on this we can see data is the same for this and then uh, we can see for this carlos so here is also this january february april all having two to same store new store and then this june and september having the less okay for this free cruise we can see here june and september having the one one count this is the district uh, new stores okay for this salary same data okay so we can do the filter on any by clicking on the image or here on the on the slicer okay so this is the district to monthly cells okay uh, so in june and september there is less sale because there is uh, less stores okay the next report is about the new stores analysis so there are 10 new stores the count of districts are 10 there are 10 districts and uh, this is the slicer for the cities so we can analyze the data as per city and this is the quiz or uh, showing the average selling area size so this is the field i have created by measure so average selling area size is nothing but the average of selling area size so the uh, average of selling area size is there in data and i have created the average by using this average function by using the dax okay so this so gives us the average selling area size as per city if i select this cincinnati so 45k is the average selling area size for that particular city okay uh, as we see here selling area size by month and chain so here are two categories so the in the chain so we can see in the january the lead series are uh, having the 10,000 selling area size and in more in the fave for the passions direct there are 95,000 of cells okay like selling area size so this is so uh, more than all other categories in the july there is only 10k uh, for this lead series so more data is about passions direct so we can think of it like uh, the uh, you know, more people are more buying that only uh, like fashions direct chain from um, fashion direction people are allowed to love, buy other things okay next is the uh, table showing the chain name store total stores and selling area size and the store type so all are the new stores here okay, we can analyze the data from this table also this is the slicer i have taken for uh, we can see for this particular let's see how many data is there by um, by a tick on this and we can see this fashion the direct also okay. so this data will show us for this particular fashion direction and then this is the new stores and selling area size by territory and postal code so as per territory and postal code we can see this data and uh, we can uh, analyze by this particular district name uh, how much is there uh, with the district name and with the fashion direct what data is there we can analyze okay so thank you for watching this so as uh, as i shown i have did this root analysis thank you